Welcome to yet another Python programming video from your GK Buddy. In this video, we shall see how to write a Python program to print the factorial of a number based on an input from a user. This Python program provides a solution to Computer Science Class 11 Chapter 3 Lab Exercises Question Number 7, which is Write a function to generate and print factorial numbers up to n provided by user. Let's begin. First of all, let's understand what factorial is. The factorial of a positive number n, denoted by n followed by an exclamation mark, read as n factorial, is the product of all positive numbers less than or equal to n. So n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times etc. times 3 times 2 times 1. So for example, 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And if we multiply all this, we get 120. So 5 factorial is equal to 120. And this is how we obtain 120. So what is happening here? When we say 5 factorial, we have 5 here, then we reduce 1 from 5, so we get 4, multiply 5 and 4, then multiply 5 and 4 with 3, which is obtained by subtracting 1 from 4. So this is equivalent to n minus 2 here. If we substitute n with 5, we get 5 minus 2, which is equal to 3. And the next number is 1 less than the previous number and so on till you reach 1. The value of 0 factorial is 1 according to the convention for an empty product. Let's now go to the Python code. What you see here is the IDLE editor of Python. The Python version which is used here is Python 2.7 in order to comply with the instructions in the textbook. So the first thing that we are going to do is accept a value from the keyboard and convert it into an integer and store it in a variable n. So for that, we use the input function of Python. Input function receives input from a keyboard. The input from a keyboard is normally received as a text, which needs to be converted into integer if we have to perform calculations. So input, enter a number, will display enter a number on the screen. The user will input a number that will be converted into an integer and stored in a variable called n. Then we calculate n factorial. For that, we have to initialize a variable fact to store the product. So fact we initialize as 1. If the user inputs 0, we have to print 1 because this is as per the convention of 0 factorial. Otherwise, we multiply the value of fact by n, reduce n by 1 till n reaches 1. The Python code for that is if n equals equals 0, double equals is a comparison operator. If the value of n compares with 0, then print 1, means 1 will be printed. Else, while n is greater than or equal to 1, fact star equals n. The star equals is the same as fact equals fact times n. The next fact will be the first value of fact times n. So the initial value of fact is n. If the input given by the user is 5, then this fact will be equal to the original value of fact, which is equal to 1, times n, let's say 5, input by the user this fact will be equal to 5. After the multiplication is done, we reduce n by 1. So n minus equals 1 is the same as n equals n minus 1. At the moment, the value of n, let's say, is 5. So we reduce by 1 and n becomes 4. Why do we do that? Because in this, initially we have 5, then we have 4. This while loop goes on till the value of n is equal to 1. Once n becomes 1, this print statement gets executed. One thing we have to be mindful is that the indentation should be the same as the start of the while loop. 
because it is part of the else statement. This print statement is not part of the while group. So the indentation should not be here. It should be here. So this print statement is executed only when n equals 1 and the program exits this loop. So the last statement that will be executed is the print statement. The print statement is executed. The print statement says the factor real is whatever is stored in fact, which will be the final product of n times n minus 1 times etc. up to 1. So let's execute this code and see how it works. So let's click on run, run module, then enter a number. Let's try entering 0. So you get 1. If the input given by the user is 0, print 1. So that is executed correctly. Now let's try another number. Go to run, run module, and it says enter number. Let's give 5. The factorial is 120. Let's see what the factorial of 5 is. Let's go back to our example. We know that the factorial of 5 is 120, which is correct. We can see that the program is executing properly. Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on like. If you love our channel, please subscribe to our channel. See you again with another Python program to solve the lab exercises in the computer science textbook of class 11 of CBSE. Thank you very much.